My first time. My first time. My first time. Uh, presenting. Programming at the festival. Seeing my film on screen was at the VQFF in 2017. Was uh, November of 2014 at Burnaby North Secondary School. First time I experienced an Evans School's presentation, I was in my school district's district-wide GSA, and they brought Evans Schools in to give us a presentation and we watched a bunch of films. The first time I heard about Out on Screen was through the Troublemakers film project. When I was looking online for some sort of connection to the community, and since I was interested in filmmaking, I thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to get to know the queer community better and to learn some filmmaking skills. A lot of times when you're a queer youth, most of the stories you hear sort of end at youth or end sadly. Uh, so seeing queer adults come and be, exist as adults, but also have these awesome like jobs and stories to tell uh, is really inspiring. It helps us realize that we have those opportunities as well. Uh, I think like the nerves for the first time is more like getting familiar with the content, um, getting to be like, okay, like how do I present this? How do I how do I talk about these things? Um, and I guess the ease that followed was like recognizing, oh, like I know all of these things. Like I live these things every day. So like getting to take a step back from what maybe this supposed script needed to be and realizing there is no script because the script is what what I live. The script is what I am bringing to the situation. And that felt really cool. One of the first programs that enabled me to really fulfill that experience of seeing both myself on screen and members of my community on screen was the Desi Queer Shorts program that I curated last year, which was a collection of shorts by South Asian queer folks, queer and trans folks um, from around the world. And that was such an incredible moment for me. Uh, as a queer South Asian femme, I grew up never seeing myself on screen. The only film that spoke to even a little bit of my experience was a film called Chutney Popcorn, which was made in the 90s. And then there was really nothing else for years and years. And so the fact that I got to program something with films from India, Nepal, uh, the UK, uh, the US, Canada, was really, really exciting. I was inspired to take the step to go talk to Brandon uh, because he was very approachable. He was super nice. Uh, the presentations we had seen from him were super fun uh, and I felt really comfortable being like, hey, this seems like a really cool thing that you do. Um, I was also doing similar work with my GSA, um, so it was really cool to like have that connection get built. I think the way that Out in School sort of takes the impact of the experience of a festival like the QFF into school spaces and into auditoriums full of young queer and non-queer students is really, really important because that is enabling us to create that kind of collective, empathetic connection between young people in our Out in Schools program.